folks, Instant Hero here, and welcome back. Hey, we're gonna start a new Let's Play series, so basically, my very, very young daughter is so into princesses, and, you know, she lives halfway across the world from me right now, uh, in Hawaii, so I don't get to see her all that much, so I thought, what a great way to do something that she's into, and give her something to watch in the meantime. I know kids nowadays watch a lot of YouTube, and they watch a lot of TV, and, you know, she doesn't always get time to interact with Dad. Uh, although, when she does, she talks my ear off. So, we're going to play this game for her. So, this is the first time I've ever played this game. Oh, and then this, other than doing the settings for the initial setup, it's the first time I've ever even seen it. So, we are going to whittle through this guy. Uh, more of a playthrough than anything else. And, yeah, I've been kind of checking it out a little bit on some of the other YouTube videos and... I just don't know that anyone's really ever done this game justice. So, <clears throat> that's what we're setting out to do today, is do this game justice. And we're going to play this as seriously as we'd play Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, or Minecraft, or Elite Dangerous, or any of those other games out there. But, we're going to do it for Disney, for princesses, and for little girls everywhere. So, hey, join along. If it's not something you're not in, if it's something you're not into, hey... Find something else to do. We're going to play this game. And here we go. And music's pretty tranquil. Uh, I'm going to try not to do too much commentary during this playthrough. Uh, mainly just because there's going to be a lot of voice acting going on in it. Uh, and a lot of other things. So I'm going to keep it to a minimum. I'll try not to cut into any of the voices unless I absolutely have to. And uh, I'm excited. Let's... Uh, Let's see how the princesses do. Oh. And it's a new save. Look at that. Alright. Let me go wow. ahead. Wow! This place is so big and so beautiful. Wait, don't you remember this room? I don't think so. Hmm. Do you remember your name? Enter your name here. Oh, this is a tough one. What shall I call myself? Well, you know. Let's do it the uh, old fashioned way. Works for me. Let's give it a shot. Oh, thank goodness! I'm so glad you remembered your name. Me too. <laughs> now, do you remember what you used to look like? No. I don't remember at all. Not to worry. Just follow me to the mirror. Come on. We can even pick out a new dress for you. Oh, this I... is where you can come anytime you'd like to change your dress, your hairstyle, your shoes, and all sorts of other things. I am absolutely excited about getting Here a new dress. Here we are. Dress. To pick a new dress, use the right arrow key. See how your dress changed? Keep moving right to see all the dresses. Once you've selected your dress, press the X key. Now, if you want to change the color of your dress, use the arrow keys up or down or right or left to select your color. See? It's easy! You can continue looking at all the options by pressing the X key. Oh yeah! And don't forget, you can turn around in the mirror by pressing the A and S keys. Alright, good tutorial on how to change my dress. Let's see, what kind of dress person am I? You know, this this is a good style, but you know, I'm really more of a traditionalist when it comes to, uh, you know, my princess wear. Uh, and, you know, I, I've got to go with the lace up in the front. It just seems like the best style for me, so... Uh, it's, a, it's a good view if you look the swing around. I, I, got, I got the hairdo going on, so uh, I, I think it's good. Alright, and for colors, man, this is going to be a tough one. I'm, I'm, I'm very into greens, pretty much primarily what I wear all the time, so I'm going to have to go with, I'm going to have to go with a green color, it's, it just seems to fit alright. So. Oh, oh, a secondary color for the dress, man, this is, uh, this is almost getting too complicated for old dad here. 
much, though. That's not bad. You know, I'm not really the great color coordinator, but I, I know that that belt does not go with those shoes. So, uh, and green and green. No, that's terrible. All right, we're going to go with green on green, because, uh, you know what? Let's keep it basic. Oh, I'm going to do makeup, too? Man. Let's see. Oh, this is skin color. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. All right, you know, this works, this works for me. No, you know, I just can't do it. I can't do it. But I'm going to. All right, and hair color. She's a little blonde nugget, so I'm going to go with blonde. So, although, you know, she's really into Elsa and all those other things, so... Uh, you know, it's a toss-up, but I think I'm going to have to go with blonde on this one. And eye color. Man. There we go. Blue eyes. Maybe a little bit stormy blue. That works for me. Princess shoes. I know she would kill me if I didn't get something that was extremely pretty, so I think we're going to go with the one with the multiple hearts on it. That'll do the best. And you know what? We have to color coordinate, because it's just awful if our shoes don't match our belt. And, uh, you know, I just can't, I just can't have that, so we're going to go with green. And that, and I'm really terrible at matching colors anyway, so. Uh, we... Ooh, a chapeau or a hat, you know depending on which continent you're on. No, that's that's terrible. Bows are not bad. Nah, well, you know... She is a princess, so... <sighs> yep, I think we're going to have to go with the crown. And once again, I think we have to go with... Oh, you know what? That, that gold is not bad. That definitely does some highlights there to the hair. Let's see. That's a little bit better. I think we'll go with that one. Oh, man. I'm already regretting this choice. There are so many choices to go with. Oh, earrings. I, you know what? I, I think I like these the best. And, of course, you know, we're really good at color coordinating, so... Gotta match the tiara. I'm just saying. And a belt. Oh no, it's a bracelet. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. Yeah. You know, that's just a little bit gaudy. You know, if, if I was walking down the street, say at the Walmart, where people would wear things like this, I would I would definitely have to laugh at myself for it now. So we're going to go with something simple. Not too accessorized. And we're just going to make everything the same color. Uh, just to keep it simple on, on old dad here. So, And you know what? I guess we have to hit the X on there. Oh! Oh, that dress looks so pretty on you! You know, I was thinking Thanks. the same thing. Uh, is there anything else you're supposed to tell me? Well, you have a big journey ahead. But all along the way, I'll be here to save your adventure. So whenever you see this icon, it means your adventure is being saved. That is good to know. Oh, look, Great. it's a floppy disk now, from the 1990s. Now there's one really important thing I need to give you. Your magic wand. Wow! I get a wand? It's beautiful! Now, this wand has very special powers and will help you on your journey. Come on! Let's go to the throne room and I'll show you how to use your magical wand. You know, I suppose at some point it's going to tell me... Oh, there we go. Arrow keys to move. So, it's good to know. So, so far, I'm fairly excited. I mean, I already got to play dress-up in the first five minutes of the game. And, uh, you know, there was plenty of narrative to keep me interested. And I got While to you're on your journey, you'll come across lots of little green creatures known as bogs. They look pretty harmless, but these troublemakers are responsible for all the bad stuff that's been happening at the castle. Now, the bogs are actually captured butterflies who've been forced to cause mischief. And only your wand can set the butterflies free. I understand, but how does it work? Well, there are two ways to release the butterflies. You can cast magic from your wand, or cover a whole area with magic. 
Do you want to skip the lessons? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Along the way, there will be lots of people and objects you can interact with. They'll all have a Z floating above them. So whenever you see the Z appear over someone or something, walk up and press the Z key to interact with them. Well, are you ready to give it a try? You bet I Sure, am. I'm ready. Press the Z key. Great job. Now, why don't you try practicing? You can talk to the villager and interact with the other things in this room. Just come back here when you're done. Alright, we got some serious tutorial going on here. So, basically none of the keys are remappable. Um, so, I guess if you're a pretty linear game player, it's not Call of Duty, so... You know, you don't need, you know, super, super duper, uh... Key mapping skills, but... Definitely does... Oh, look at that, if you press two keys at the same time, you get the effect of running in a diagonal. So, alright, we're gonna go talk to this guy right here, cause, uh, you know... Bald Minner. Bald. Hello there. Oh, look at that. Hello there. Okay. To cast magic from your wand, all you have to do is tap the space bar. Got it! Tap the space bar to cast your magic at the bogs. Okay, there are some bogs around here and we are going to cast some magic at them. Wow! You're a fast learner! Now go ahead and cast your magic on those bogs. I'll be right here when you're ready to keep going. Oh, there he is. I got him. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Okay, do not make the mistake of trying to aim. Now, let's try a blast of magic. Just hold down the space bar for a moment and let go. You'll see the magic flood out all across the ground. Okay! Hold down the space bar for a second and then let go. You're doing really well! Now you can practice a blast of magic on those bogs. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Oh, you know, I'm so down with this. Here we go. Ready? You know, instant butterfly effect. Gotta love it. Excellent work! Now it's time for me to show you one last power hidden in your wand. The ability to use magic to undo the bog's mess. Really? Uh-huh. And it's as simple as pressing the X key. Why don't you try it? Just press the X key to use your magic. Press the X key to use your magic. That's perfect! Now you can practice your magic on the items in this room. Don't forget to come back here when you're done. All right, let's let's unmagic things. This is how YouTube should be. I should be able to press the X button and Excellent. everything should be. You're done. a very fast learner, which is good because we have to keep going. Now, during your adventure, you might find places where you need to jump. If you do, just press the left shift key. Press the left shift key to jump. That's it! Now you're ready to start your adventure. Look! Those gems are leading up the stairs. I think we should follow them. You know, I'm looking at this jump, and Old Girl has more game than Kobe. I'm telling you. Where are we going here? There's not much of a camera view. Oh, there we go. Stairs. And I am getting the hang of this thing. So I'm glad this was designed for, you know, 6 to 11 year olds. Otherwise, uh, I'd never get it. Alright, first chapter complete. So, this has been fun. But... Alright, this has been great. I've had a lot of fun playing just the intro to this game, and we're going to call it right here, and we're going to come back for another episode. I don't want to overdo it all in one episode, so we definitely got the tutorial out of the way, and, you know, as always, thanks for joining in, and remember, keep your head down, watch your six, and return fire. Have a good night.